the nuclear flashpoint that's currently brewing in the Korean Peninsula, North Korea has put its rockets on standby to attack the U.S. military bases in South Korea and Pacific. Well, this move came after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un signed off an order in a midnight meeting of top generals. The meeting was called after the United States flew two nuclear-capable stealth bombers over the Korean Peninsula in a rare show of force. North Korean leader Jong Un is reported to have told his generals that the time has come to settle accounts with the U.S. imperialists in view of the prevailing situation. On Thursday, the United States flew two B-2 Spirit bombers on practice runs over South Korea, responding to a series of North Korean threats. But Washington says that it was not intended to provoke Pyongyang, but also added that they are ready to deal with any eventuality. Uh, extraordinary or provocative or, or out of the uh, 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 out, out of the orbit of what the nation do to protect their own interests we will uh, unequivocally uh, defend and we are unequivocally committed to that alliance with South Korea as uh, well as our uh, other allies in that region of the world and we will be prepared if we have to be prepared to deal with any uh, eventuality there. Shoulder to shoulder with our allies in South Korea to ensure that, their, that, that, that the interests of the United States and the allies of the United States remain protected. Um, and that is, uh, that is something that should be evident from the comments of senior administration officials, but should also uh, be evident from the close security cooperation that we have with the South Koreans, including these recent military exercises. North Koreans, uh, we can attack you in ways in which you can see us coming, and we can also attack you potentially in ways in which you cannot see us coming. So it's a message to the North Koreans that they have to be very careful how they proceed next with uh, their military efforts and the political efforts. So the threats clearly have reached an unprecedented level. According to the Pentagon, this is the first time dummy munitions were dropped on a South Korean island during a joint military exercise. Joint drills heightened the escalating tension between the U.S. and North Korea, with Pyongyang threatening to carry out nuclear strikes in Washington and Seoul. This escalation comes after North Korea cut off military hotlines with South Korea just yesterday. Headlines today's strategic affairs uh, editor, Gaurav Savant, is with us on the phone line. Gaurav, we have seen a torrent of threats between North Korea and the U.S. in the past few weeks. How worried should the world be right now? Uh, this seriously is the cause of concern. This is a game of brinkmanship uh, between North Korea uh, and the United States of America uh, protecting its allies, South Korea. Now, uh, the two uh, B-2 stealth bombers, the spirit bombers, which carried out uh, a, a recce run. Uh, now, that was purely, as America says, a defensive measure over South Korea. But uh, look at the reaction instantly overnight. Uh, Kim Jong Un uh, has already said that you know their army is on the highest state of alert. Their uh, rockets are being readied, and it's not just South Korea, but also you know uh, they 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 have the capability to strike at U.S. mainland, uh, whether it's in Hawaii or U.S. interests in Japan or Guam. So in all of this, it's a game of brinkmanship that's being played out to see who's going to back down first. And uh, North Korea having snapped the hotline, not just with Korea, but also with the UN and the US, is a serious cause for concern. But at the same time, look at the conflicting signals that are coming out, that exclusive uh, trade zone, that economic zone, uh, the $2 billion trade between North and South Korea, that is still functioning. Uh, so, uh, you know, e even if there is heightened tension, uh, right. there is, as of now it is being said, there is no fear of a shooting war unless the situation actually completely goes out of control. All right, Gaurav, just stay on with us. You raised an important point of how we've seen this game of brinksman, brinkmanship play out uh, in the last few years or decades, in fact. But let me go across to strategic affairs expert Sushant Sarin as well, who's with us on the phone line right now. Do you see this as a stronger than usual response right now from North Korea? Well, it, it, it is. You know, uh, I think Gaurav is absolutely right. There has been this uh, game of brinkmanship which the North Koreans have played to their advantage over the years. Uh, they have indulged in the kind of bad behavior which should have led to massive retaliation against them. But instead, 
they've been rewarded for it in one way or another. Uh, and they have played this game between the US and the Chinese also uh, very adeptly. Uh, so, but this time around, they seem to have taken this brinkmanship a notch up uh, and directly threatened nuclear warfare uh, on the Americans. Now, will the Americans simply pipe down or will they put in place the, the kind of systems uh, which has to end this rogue regime once and for all? Uh, all right. Clearly, North Korea is a danger to international peace and the, show, the, 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 the sooner we get rid of this regime, the better it will be for the entire globe.